Hey guys, welcome to episode 5, which was actually meant to be episode 6, but I messed up on the recording. Um, last episode, as you saw, we sort of finished here. We was in the middle of a firefight, um, but for some reason, my uh, recording didn't uh, succeed, and I'll basically describe what happened. Um, so we were here, we had two guys um, that were closing in on us. Um, yeah, we more or less just kicked their bum, really. Um, we got the three guys with the hunting rifle, the two guys with the shotties, and one guy with a pistol. The guy with the pistol did absolutely nothing to contribute. He was basically just a bullet sponge. Um, the guys with the shotties were taking on the close quarter guys, and the guys with the hunting rifles were doing a nice job of picking off people that are a little bit far away. Um, we um, come over here, and then this dude in here set off an alarm. And then there must have been, well, you can see by their corpses, there was a lot of guys over here. And um, we still got a few guys down here um, that we got to take out. So uh, I ran back to this place here, because I thought they were going to come at once. Turns out they, they were just um, aware that they're intruders. They didn't actually know exactly where I was. So I snuck all these guys over here. And there's a person here with just a club. Stuck up behind him with a stitch, blew him away, got some loot. Um, and snuck round here, so still um, keeping out of visibility. Um, and then there was like a few patrols down here. Um, took them out pretty quickly with uh, sort of hid all our guys in this little pocket here they were walking past, as soon as they walked past just literally filled them up with shotty shells um, and that was cool there's a random dude in here who was asleep couldn't open this door with lockpicks uh, it said it looked difficult so I think it's out of Farsight's skill level for lockpick um, so we could actually just stand here and have full visibility of him so we just literally got my uh, three hunting rifle dudes to stand here and just blew him away and then with all these guys standing here I didn't really know how to approach this um, so I came up with a plan of screw sneaking it doesn't seem to be excuse me doesn't seem to be working all that well so I got all my guys out of sneak got them to just sprint all the way around here up through here and then here without amazing about managing to get seen um, and then I got Stitch and Brian is he the guy with the shotgun? No uh, Stitch and Trevor to stand here got all my um, hunting rifle dudes here and then sort of let them revealed Stitch here, ran back let them all sort of run up trying to get shots and stuff and uh, any any guys that were bold enough to come around this corner just blew them away with shotgun shells um, and any guys that were sort of taking a wide berth they were getting hammered with uh, hunting rifle rounds and then got one or two guys in this tent so when they would try and run up past here they get or they try and run in there it's a pretty uh, pretty fortified place to defend so they got pretty boned here and yeah just more or less just uh, finishing off guys with hunting rifles that were ru still running up um, and that was episode 5 um, I also mentioned in the last episode just reminding what our objective was was to save the um, the village elder from Brahminwood. Uh, yeah, he got captured by these guys and it's our mission to get him out and we've got a uh, we've got a, a covert op sort of dude in here somewhere um, he's wearing red armour that's how we identify him but he's not part of the brotherhood I think he's just literally a, a sort of a spy for hire sort of thing and yeah that's basically where we left off sorry about the, uh, the mess up in the last episode it was fairly yeah it, it went really successful there wasn't that much bad stuff coming my way just me owning a lot of bandit bandit hide basically so yeah we'll start um episode five here i guess um which should have been episode six as i said but yeah treat this episode five and we'll carry on um so this dude he's the head honcho he's the uh charlie big potatoes of the of the bandit group uh and i was going to run in Jacks first, get him to soak up all the bullets, and then Trevor and uh, and Stitch run in there afterwards and blow him away. So Jacks, let's have a go with you then. You might die, but it'd be for good. Oh, okay, he got winded and fairly damaged actually. What did he? It was a critical, so it could have gone a lot worse. Oh, punctured lung. So that's why he's winded. Fair enough. Yeah, retaliate against that guy. 0% to hit. Lol. Um, now, Stitch, you want to run round 
I mean, you might as well. Or should we get Trevor in there first? You've got. If you move one, will you be in range of him? I think you will. So we'll get Stitch in there first then. He can move two and shoot. Take this. Nice. Trevor, you, you can move one and get off two shots. Not very good rates hit, but we'll take it. That's a shame. And as for these guys, they're all just too hard to hit, so we'll just run these guys in here for a bit of temporary cover. Ooh, who was that? Who that was, but uh who's got moving left then? Oh, I think she stopped because she got shot at. Or it might be because I got alt pressed from when I alt tabbed earlier. Okay, that's fine. End that turn. Jax is uh taking a bit of a beating. Oh you get two shots off at Jax then. Must have. One out of 35. Jax, you are one lucky guy. Punctured lung, one HP. You're virtually, you might as well be dead. Um, yeah, now would be a good time to use a first aid kit. Although it takes 10, a 10 AP. I don't even have 10 AP. If no one's in view, we'll uh, end the combat there and get him to use it now. Look at that. As if it never happened. Well, oh, balls. I've realised I should have used the doctor's bag to get rid of his punctured lung. Oh well, he's alive. That's what counts. Even if I did refer to him as a bullet sponge. Ooh, key. That take us into that. Uh, will it take us into that guy? We butcher that sleeping bandit. I don't know. Iguana on a stick. Sweet. So we're not going to be able to loot all these guys now because we still got these guys down here. So, I think I'll get these guys, these guys to check this place just in case there are people in there because if we run down there, they're going to be in view of us and they're just going to have some free shots at us. Um, perhaps we can get you guys to do a bit of sneaky sneak. If anything, you're a... Uh, Crouch your positions to just make you better at shooting. Right, stop. Sir, haven't you? Okay. So he's got a shotty, so he's not going to be too much of a threat from that distance, I think. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, anyway. Mm. What's. 72. 77? Oh my. Patsy, you are outgunning far sight. Probably because you're closer. So I'm not going to rub in her face too much. Get a bit closer, I think. This dude. Or this dude. This dude. Hurrah. Brian, you're next. That's a shame, but we're going to take it. As you've got three shots, it is possible to do it. Nice, nice. And turn. I'll get these guys to do it after combat, just for the sake of moving. Ooh, another dude. 
Let him have it. Oh dear. It's up to Brian to take one of these guys out before the turn is over. Come on, you can do it, I believe. Yes. Nice. This has gone a lot better than I thought it would, just sneaking over there. I thought they'd get detected before they even got to the road, to be honest. Awesome. Cool, right. Let's loot all these. Oh. Okay, he hasn't seen me yet. You guys can start looting these chaps, I suppose. Oh, look at poor Jax. Walking all slow because he's been winded. I say winded. He had a punctured lung. Can't blame the guy. <clears throat> Get all this yummy loot stitch. Nice yummy loot to sell on the next uh, before the next mission. Yeah, you get more or less the same sort of loot at this stage, I think. Nothing too uh too elite. Cool, so that's all looted. We have to just loot you guys now. And then we'll uh I'll get those guys up there to check that tent. And then we'll carry on. Ooh. Bit of Jelda. Okay. Now I can't remember. If when you talk to him, he's like, "Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go now." And if that is the case, okay, no one in here. That's nice. Switchblade, ha. Huh. Pot, pot. So you can loot these. Rather tasty-looking knife. And something. Cool. Well, no raiders in there. Happy about that. Might as well get you guys. I'll get you to have a look in here first while they always catch up. I really don't want to talk to him just in case he does run off and get shot to bits by the remaining raiders that are outside. Have a look in here, Trevor. I think this is a. Nothing in here, eh? Apart from a few skulls on sticks. Hmm. Right, what's next? So I don't know where this guy in the red armour is. It's done absolutely subtle to help our mission so far, that's for sure. Right, well, charge, I think. It's all gone pretty well so far, these. Aha. As I said, it's gone pretty well so far, these pretty um, r random tactics I've been throwing out there. Did you loot him? I don't think you did. Oh. Mind you, they are after bats, really? They, you know. They're not really gonna. It doesn't matter what tactics I throw at them. Bats are never gonna win over a shotgun. All right, far sight, brave one. Trevor, our oh, shotty feathers. Go in there first. Any resistance met will be met with a shotgun. She's a prisoner of some sort. Now I know for a fact that you save her and you know she's grateful on all this jargon 
Um, but the guy, what's his name, General Barnaby, he um, he doesn't like the fact that um, yeah, you let it go without questioning. Um, that does have a bit of a baby over it, so I don't know whether to um, what to do about her. We'll, we'll have a bit of an experiment with that. Anywho, let's carry on killing these raiders, shall we? Um, I think I saw one in here, perhaps. Oh, a couple. Okay, well we'll just uh, we'll just get stitched to do his magic. I like the pain. That was probably the weirdest reaction to getting. Um, <laughs> a shotgun thrusted in your sleeping torso. Can you see? Who can see? Is it just? <laughs> Don't tell me it's just Jack that can see. That is a really bad situation. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, oh, didn't see you. You're going down. Fans, we're gonna get Haxley to aim at this lass on the floor. Or dude, whoever it is. Head 82% eyes. We'll go eyes. That's gonna be fun. Oh, he missed. Eyes again. It's worth it. Are you kidding me? Do you disappoint me, sir? Awesome. Uh, Brian, you can't see this dude. You might as well move in position so you can. Yes. Cool. So yeah, these guys, even though an alarm went off, it looks like some of them just gave absolutely no mind about it. Okay, that's the first time I've been stabbed by a spear on this uh, on this mission. And that's my reaction. That's how much I like being stabbed by spears. Let it be a warning. No shotties, please, because it's just going to end badly at this range. Well, this close vicinity of allies, I should say. Sweet. Let's do our thing. Our looty loot. So I'm going to confidently say I think I've killed the majority of the uh, what the f oh, combat killed the majority of uh, the raiders on this mission. I mean we've located the elder. Um, we've come across the sort of unique character bandit dude who had a bit of a word with us and set off the alarm. So can I talk to her through the window? Hey, please get me out of here. Please get me out of here and I'll pay you back someday. I, I, I don't have anything to give you now, but if you ever visit my town, Great Bend, just ask for Ripley and I swear I'll make it up to you. Please, uh, please don't let them touch me again. Hmm. So, I've always let her go before and they've had a go at me, so let's keep her in there and see what General Barnaby says. I know it's a little bit evil and a little bit sort of, you know, she's been pretty, she's had a pretty hard time in here, I think. Um, so freedom would be lovely, but I'm kind of, I'm going to have to deny it to you, my friend. Oh, nice. Um, for now. I mean, you know, you might just be initiating into the Brotherhood. You may, um, may have other plans for you. I'm sure people won't be touching you anymore. See. You are a um bandit by the looks of it. Just gonna heal stitch up with some of this stuff. Nice. Oh. Oh. Run. Run here. Be quick about it. Especially you with the punctured lung. 
Stitch, you do your magic. I mean, we all know. We all know how this goes down. Why didn't it? I definitely clicked on him. And now, magically, you know that I'm there. Got ya. I mean, all the noise that spear makes. the guy running because of us or was he just decided to have a bit of a jug? Out is that an outdoorsman one? I think so. So yeah with the books you wanna really give them to one one character to focus. Outdoorsman I think Stitch has got the best outdoorsman. One Haxi twenty oh I was wrong. It looks like um Looks like Farsight is the one with the outdoorsman skill. Cool. Okay, let's just balls this out, shall we? I think we're. I'm feeling pretty invincible now. Oh, what are you, a patrol? That's very cute. And I'm gonna kill ya! So, one guy got shot off, does that mean. Okay, so they all do get a turn. Seriously, worst guard ever. You the same. No. Weak and slow. Well. Oh no, that was such a fail. I thought I was uh, a person with a hunting rifle there, not a shotgun. Oh, that could have gone really badly. Shite. Oh. My bullet sponge is all the way back here. We really need to get a doctor on him, don't we? It's getting so dark now. Yeah, I thought you said we were weak and slow earlier. What's happened? You're dead. That's what happened. Ugh. Well, actually, uh, I think my heart skipped to beat then when Stitch was at the back of the group. Oh, Trevor. Oh Trevor! Have you got any stims? Yes you do. Use those stims. That's better. Ugh. That's a bit horrible. Go get your revenge. Jax, you might as well just sit this one out. You use this pile of punctured lung mess. Who are you? Ha! Ah, that's a dude in the bloody red armour. Well, you didn't really come in use, did you? Who else we got? Stitch, you run in there, dude. You have some making up to do. I mean, you've done pretty well this episode, but... Friendly fire, that's just unacceptable. Completely wears all me. <sighs> yeah, if you want. Not that you have... I'll tell you what, what is your melee? Unarmed, as good as his small guns, brilliant. So he's just going to be bad at everything so far. Apart from being a bullet sponge. Which he did do a good job against that boss dude, didn't he? Won't take that away from him. So after I kill these dudes, I think that's, that's it. Farsight's living up to her name now. She's getting some pretty good um, hit chances on these guys. No, don't do it. Damn, misclicks. Stitch, um, if you, if you wouldn't mind. He can move five and shoot because he's got that fast shot perk or trait, wherever it is. Uh, we'll go for it. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, you just you just have a breather. <laughs> oh, he's woken up. I only took what two, three turns of firing for a, a guard to realise something was going on. What about you, fast? What was your chance? I'm like. 
rule 0%, okay. Is he going to run up to us? Well, that's pretty perfect. Well, if you're offering, offering your carcass on a plate, I'm going to take it. What a moron. Runs up to a a crowd of people with guns, with a melee weapon, and then goes, "Oh, oh dear, um, I can't reach." S silliness. Right, do you? Oh, I just just go somewhere. these guys now. I'm feeling pretty uh, invincible right now. Oh, what have you got? What have you got that's so bloody devastating, eh? Oh, uh, well. Fists versus a shotgun. I think these bandits have the education of some very uneducated guys. Yes, that's my, uh, that's my insult. Okay, this is where her aiming starts to suffer as a result of them being too close. Oh dear, I just hit the informant. <laughs> Fail. Come on, kill him please. <laughs> He's all the way back there. How many times I hit the informant? <laughs> oh, him twice. Ooh, a doggy. some uh, bandits have. <sighs> okay, uh, we'll overwatch you to 33%, yeah. like the lot after this one bandit. talking to me. Because <laughs> I might have shot him a few times. Okay, well I can live with that. Not that I actually need you now. This place is ours. 
we pretty much own it. Killed everyone in here. And yeah, there's just no resistance here anymore, is there? Well, you can you can jog on. We don't need you anymore. And uh hang on who's got that key. I'll go look at the uh the thing up there. Have you got the key? No. 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 Who's got that damn key? There it is, it's on Trevor. Give that to Haxi. Yeah, they can't reach. But then move there. We'll get you guys to uh, have a look down here. Or oh, Haxi goes up, goes into that room, sees if there's any good loot in there. Um, talks to the elder. Doesn't sell for much, but it's worth it. Worth just picking up. Um, I wonder if me accidentally shooting the informant's gonna affect my uh, ranking. Ooh, a locker. Is it going to be locked by any chance? No. Okay. Awesome. Uh, here he is. Well, here it is. The room. That was not about. Is this the right key? I hope so. Oh. Perhaps there is no key. Unless... The, uh... The elder... Might have a key on him, for whatever reason. Nah, it's got to be the raider that was uh, I killed in there, surely. Thank the Brahmin God of Rescue you're here. The scoundrels clubbed me from behind while I was making water in the woods, then put me in a sack. A sack! Me! It's obvious that these Cretans were never taught to respect elders. I can tell you little more, but I know that braggart of a raider leader hides his ill-gotten treasures in his tent. Perhaps it might be worth your while to pay him a visit. I am ready to leave. Talk to me again when it is safe for me to dash to safety. Okay, so I get to talk to him again. Rather than just running out there like an idiot. Um. Is there any other nice bits and bobs? There isn't. So yeah, that's a little bit disappointing with the, uh, the back building there. I'm sure there's probably some nice juicy loot over there. A box of some sort, yeah. Ah, well. The cool. elder has made his escape. Primary objective complete. Head to the extraction point to end the mission. Ooh, hear that noise? That's a level up noise. We like that noise. Um. What's up here? Oh, the evacuation site. Here I assumed it was uh, going to be in the bottom left. Cool. Well, we'll we'll get these guys up here. We'll end the mission. Um, I'd love to open that door, but unless far side, if we up to your lock pick, I'm wondering if you could um, open that door. Spend a few points in her small guns to get her like to 100 cent, and then the rest on lock pick perhaps, and then put that. And she's got a perk as well to get, hasn't she?
but that would be better to use later when it costs more to uh, when it costs yeah it costs more points when you get about when you get about a hundred percent to uh, raise the skill that uh, well the skill points that skill what are you all doing are you retards Even Jack's making his way there, and he's got a punctured lung. Yeah, we'll just see the debrief, and then I'll end the episode. God dear me. Click them to go up there, and they're just sitting there. You almost beat him, Jax. You almost beat him. Even with your punctured lung. Farsight, get your lot pick out again, I guess. See if we can. I mean, was he? If you can't lockpick it open, was he supposed to come out? Oh. Right, plan B. See if a Molotov will blow it open. I'm just going to accept that I'm not getting in there. Oh, bugger off combat. So, as I said, the bird that was in the jail, I didn't let it go. Does this end in a good result? Well done, warrior. On his safe return, Brahmin Woods Elder informed our inquisitors that he had been moved from camp to camp, presumably to keep his location a secret. Unfortunately, he was forced to wear a hood to prevent him from mapping his route and the location of the bandits' camps. One bit of information was learned. It seems some bandit groups are meeting some kind of opposition in the West. We didn't get any details, but the Raiders have never won a conflict with this new presence. This could be just fearful mutterings of superstitious Raiders, but it would give reason to their heightened activities in this region. The Brotherhood must investigate this new possible threat. The informant has been paid and is on his way to retrieve information on the new menace. You did well keeping him alive during your mission, and your attention to detail will bring you into high favor with the Brotherhood. Dismissed! Well, it seems that he didn't mention the last that uh, I kept in that cell. Okay, I'm going to be cheeky. And I'm going to set her free because I feel bad. Uh, she was in here somewhere, wasn't she? So see if Haxy Rage, or Haxy, should I call him? No, he doesn't have the intelligence to know where the stairs are. My, oh my. And we could always come back to that locked door as well when uh, when Farsight gets a bit better lockpick skill. Um, right, where was this lass being held? Here she was. I hope she's still there. Do you have the key? Oh, he doesn't have the fucking key. Who has the key? Stitch, you have it. Who has that damn key? kidding me? Why do I no longer have this key? No matter, I don't even think she's in there anymore. Nope. No, she'd be, she not be in here. Never mind. Oh, where's the exit grid? Is that at the top again? Oh, hey, ball ache. Yes, it is.
So now we're basically just having a gentle stroll around this camp. Exciting. Oh, do we really have to wait for you? Oy. Yes, we do. Well, thank you for playing, guys. Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. Um, next episode, I'll level up our guys. We'll uh, we'll get the next mission. We'll trade all our stuff off, which I will skip now in future episodes, as I'm sure you don't want to watch me just dra dragging and dropping items that I sell. Um, but I will let you know uh, what I do buy um, and equip our guys with. Sweet. Alright guys, well thank you for watching, I'll catch you in episode, uh, next episode, subscribe if you want to get the latest and greatest from myself, Haxi Rage, and yeah, have a good one, and I will catch you later, bye bye.